Hello and welcome to Pocketman Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you some drum examples to bring out the quality a bit more. I have my phone connected to the speakers once again. And I'm going to make something to show you. Sounds really soft. Right, that's better. I have a bit of a cold, so. We have it like this, I'm going to render it, but first let me check if the mastering is the way I want it to be. I reduce the sound because the overall sound will otherwise come out way too loud and that will only give you distortion and this way it sounds more like a better quality. It has a better quality. So just add an effect and I see it's still on touch somehow so I'm just going to have to log out and log in again. First let's play it. Right. Just gonna log out and back in again. my thing it shifts from Wi-Fi to 3G back to Wi-Fi I use Tasker for that um, so we we'll wait until the Wi-Fi gets back online I'm going to reopen the track okay so we go to the channel channel add effects add reverb the more reverb you put in the more chaotic it will become so I usually use this but you can so it's a much wider sound maybe like a small room and the way if you put it louder or wider I mean more reverb time. less reverb time That's about it. You can see here that it's only slightly in yellow, and that will mean that the outcome sound is perfect. If this one, the mastering on the current loop, looks like this, then you have a very good sound quality, and then it will not sound too soft, and it sound the sound will be similar to almost to uh, yeah, well, good quality. Anyway, so um, a little trick, just change this one before I do it. This will make it go further, more to delay. Let's see, so I have three open ones here. I'm gonna clone this one. And it was around here, so erase everything. Put 
three ayats here go to channel um, you can choose to either bypass the reverb or just leave it open in this case we'll first just bypass it add a delay put the timing all the way to the right Shoveling hats. They sound like this. But the combined sound, the combined sound makes it sound way better shoveling. So I'll also show you how you can actually use the effects inside the drums because this is a regular short drum there is no effects on this number now because I turned off the reverb let's check this one is off as well and this is how it sounds dry there are no effects everything is on standard no effects whatsoever then it sounds like this You can hear that this one does have an effect and you can also do it like this put this one on 3.0 and the high frequency decay speed on 40 give the bass a slight use of the effects the snare more that's around 30 maybe and these ones around 16 which will make it sound like this here's also an, a way to give it more atmosphere you can see here there's more variation now in the channels because things are just going haywire and this will probably be too much this is like a tin can reverb put everything back And that's uh, well it for now there's nothing else I can actually add to this but this is a way to make your drum sound more deep more present and not too loud because a lot of people uh, tend to just uh, oh, say oh well, I'm gonna put in a beat and this is going to be the beat turn these ones off I'm gonna turn in this beat put everything to the maximum and just run it. I'll put it a bit slow. Lower. This will nice. But that really sucks. So don't do that. <laughs> Use better techniques. Because people with earbuds, when they hear this drum, they go like, oh my god, there go my earbuds. And people with like uh, the Dre headphones or other good quality headphones, they can handle this uh, intensity. But the people with uh, the cheap earbuds that came with the phone, they're either going to lose their hearing or lose their earbuds. So that's it. There's nothing else I can add to this. And there is also nothing new I can tell you about. Out on pocket band we're heading towards the 21st of December some people believe that things may change around that time and some people won't I'll be around during that time and we will see what happens if anything happens or not 
I wish you happy holidays and a nice year's ending because I will probably not be making a video before the end of the year because of the holiday activities and such. Um, all the new people that recently joined my channel, welcome! And I hope to be able to give you answers to questions if you have any. Um, those who already subscribed for a long period, thank you for sticking around. I'm going to do even more videos in the next year. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.